Hello friends and family of YouTube. Well today I just want to do a quick video on a generator. This is a brand new generator. It has less than probably somewhere around five hours on it. I want to show you what uh, trouble I was having with it and show you what also I learned that was causing some problems for me over the weekend. So uh, yeah, it could have ruined a good trip, but uh, anyway, let me show you what was going on with it. Well, here's the generator, and as I said, this generator has somewhere around five, maybe ten hours on it. And I know maybe some of you might be complaining that, uh, that uh, you know, maybe it's because I've got a Champion and not a Honda or whatever. But after I explain to you what the problem turned out to be, you'll be a believer in Champion too. This is a great generator. I have had good luck with them. I've got two of them, and uh, anyway, let me tell you what was going on. Well, it was acting just like to me that it was not getting enough gas. I could start it up, and I could run it for about 30 seconds, maybe 15 seconds, somewhere, somewhere between there, and it would shut off. I could start it right back up, and it would run again for a little while. I went through this scenario for probably... I don't know, 10, 12 times, and uh, just kept trying to figure out why is this thing not wanting to continue to run. So I know a little bit about small engines. I took a small engines class in high school. And uh, what I felt like was going on is this is a carburetor. And I felt like the carburetor float might have been sticking. So I would tap on the carburetor and sure enough, I could get it to run again. But it was doing the same thing. It would just run for, you know, 15 seconds or so and then shut off. So I thought, well, maybe with the float being at an angle, maybe if I take the uh, generator and uh, tilt it back. Let's see. Yeah, I tilted it back this way. I put a piece of board under here and tilted it back. And I thought, well, if it is the float and if the float's at... Uh, a certain angle I should be able to get it to run well sure enough I was able to get it to run longer than 30 seconds it would run two or three minutes well I happened to notice on that board that I sat under here I noticed that oil had dripped from here down onto the board it didn't show any oil on the engine on the crankcase anywhere but oil was showing up on that board I couldn't see it on the ground because the ground was completely dark. It was uh, just real dark soil from uh, just real rich in nutrients. But anyway, it showed up real easy on that board. So what I discovered was my oil cap was loose. And again, this is a brand new unit. So I, evidently I did not put the oil cap on tight. Well, when I unscrewed this oil cap, and check the oil level, sure enough, it was low of oil. I've never heard a generator shut off because of the low oil level. I knew that they had them on there. I've just never got to hear them in, in action. So I wanted to tell you what it's like so you'll know. Because there's no light on here anywhere that tells you low oil. There's no light on any generator that I've ever seen that would say low oil. So that's how you can tell is if it will just run for a very short time and then start back up, etc. So I went through that several times. Well, I had some oil with me and I poured it into the, into the dipstick area there. I put the cap back on, ran perfectly fine. So that's all it was. But when I did get some oil out of there, I did pour some oil out just to take a look at it. And I was really amazed at how much silver is in that oil. So let me show you. Now the best advice I'm going to give you or anyone can give you on a brand new generator. Run it for about 5, maybe 10 hours and change the oil. And you are about to find out why. I'm going to show you that you can take any new engine. I'm not talking about just a generator. I'm talking about a lawnmower. Probably wouldn't even hurt to do it with a brand new car. 
Reason is, is when they machine these engines, they have a hard time of getting all the fine little piece of oil shavings out of the engine. And if you know what to look for, I'm going to tell you it will show up in your oil. All right, so what I did is I pulled the drain plug out, and the reason I have this uh, paper plate here is I want to get a little bit of oil on this paper plate, and hopefully you can see some of the metal that shows up in here. I can see it, but I don't know that it will show up on the video, but oil should either be black or it should be have a, uh, a clear tan color, but sometimes you'll see silver inside the oil especially as it starts to get down to the how it's uh, getting some of the bottom fines of the oil that's usually when you'll start seeing some of it come out of there but uh but anyway whether you have a new lawnmower or whether you got a new uh generator or anything i would always change that oil within the first five to ten hours of running it all right, well, now it's time for me to get the uh, oil plug in. I've got it going in here. Got to tighten it down. And uh, this particular Champion generator and all Champion generators use 10W30. And I'll show you what I'm using. I'm using Haviland 10W30 in there. And uh, they do give you a special... Uh, funnel to go in there and that makes it a whole lot easier so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this because I'm having to work with one hand and I'll get back with you in just a second now let me show you the uh, the drain plug here this is how you check to see your level of your uh, your oil level it has an L on there for low and it has a H on here for high you want to be within this zone right here of your oil level now every manufacturer is different but what I want to point out to you is if you have a champion, what you do is you just put the plug there. You do not thread it. And you pull it out to see how much uh, level you're at and whether you need to add some more or not. And I need to add quite a bit. So uh, I just want to keep checking this. But uh, some, some of the generators, you put the, the uh, dipstick in there and you thread it in to see if your level is correct. But on a champion, all you do is just stick it up there and pull it out to see uh, if your level is correct. So I'm going to keep uh, adding till I get this level the way I need it to be. Well, one of the main reasons that you want to keep that oil changed often is it will definitely make this uh, generator run a lot longer. Give it a lot better lifespan. And the other reason is it will make it run quieter. So... <laughs> Well, folks, I appreciate y'all watching today. Hey, if you would, hit the like and subscribe if you had not done so already. And uh, y'all have a great one. See y'all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.